What's going on everybody? So today I'm going to be showing you how I got the greatest player of all time to be upgraded to an 87. And no, it's not Jerry Rice. It is the one and only Randy Moss. And yeah, we could debate it all day about whatever, this and that, whatever. The dude is outright the GOAT. I don't want to hear it. We could, listen, just say whatever you want to say, bro. I'll, I, you know, I'll probably, you know, look at it and, and give you a little bit of, you know, like uh, attention with it. But there's no debate. Randy Moss is the greatest wide receiver of all time. Don't at me. Unless you want to at me on Twitter at G Myers World. But listen. This guy right here has an 88 speed. He's the 85 overall, 89 spectacular catch, 84 release. All right, let's go ahead and find out how this all came about. Now, I was very, very tempted to buy this pack set right here. This, um, th they have a pack, right, where it comes with like 25 baby goats and all kind of goats with the goats, right? So I was looking at it and I'm like, should I do it? Because I'm not trying to just spend money frivolously. Um, Obviously, I've been spending it because I wanted uh, that LaDainian Tomlinson that I started. So I spent the $2 a day to get his tokens. But this was the bundle, right? And they let you get three of them. So that's $120. I'm like, yo, no, nah, I'm not doing that. I'm going to have to grind it out. So I grinded it out and I waited and I bought, um, you know, some of the baby goats that were auctioned. I, I averaged around 9 k for each baby goat. Okay, so uh, right here, you could go ahead and check it out if you wanted to know what I was talking about. You go to the auction browser, and then right there, look at Brady going for 7400 Even though people are going to still be bidding on it, um, I don't need any more baby goats right now, so I'm not even interested in that. But the buy now price, you look, 8200 stuff like that, I don't need another one. I'm not, I don't even have enough coins to get that. Like, all my coins have just been going down the drain. But anyway, that was one way that I got some of the baby goats, and then the other way that I got it was playing solo challenges. Now, every day for 20 days, they're going to be giving you the 20 days of GOAT challenges. It's only there for 24 hours. This is day 11, so it's nine days left, which is mean you got 18 more GOATs that you can possibly get. All right, so 18 baby GOATs. Um, so if you wanted to upgrade anything else, and these GOATs are non-auctionable, so you might want to put it into a set um, and possibly spend another $20 to get another GOAT. If you wanted to do that, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to do it. And I've, yo, listen, trust me. It was very, very hard for me not to spend the money because I could have had Randy Moss way faster, just like everybody else. But I wanted to grind it out. I did every solo challenge and I bought the remainder um, in the auction house, all right? So let's jump over to the upgrade sets. You're going to find the baby goat sets right to the, you know, far right, right before the team tokens and all that stuff like that under goats, all right? I don't want this Tom Brady. I don't want any of the other stuff that's going on. I don't want this Barry Sanders. I don't want Jerry Rice. He's not the greatest of all time. I already said it, bro. Randy Moss is the greatest of all time. Go ahead and at me. Do whatever you got to do, but Randy Moss will still be the greatest. Bro, the most fearful wide receiver that any DB ever wanted to see in his life. And even when he was older and Revis was supposed to be Revis Island, remember when he was on the Patriots and he burnt Revis and then Revis acted like he had a hamstring pull? That's neither here nor there, bro. Randy Moss is the GOAT. Let's go ahead and get right into it, right? So look, what you're going to need is the 85 overall. And before we get to that, this is how I got the 85 overall um, to begin with. I bought the one set of goats, right, for $20. And then when you get that original goat, he's the 83. And then you just continue to add baby goats. And you feed them baby goats, bro. It sounds kind of inhumane, but you're feeding them a lot of goats, bro. I don't know uh, what Peter would think about this. It's kind of bad, bro, that we're feeding these guys baby goats. But um, as you continue to upgrade, you put them in the sets. You add further baby goats, and then before you know it, Randy Moss is almost ready to rock and roll like a savage animal, all right? So here we go. 87 overall Randy Moss. We're going to go ahead and add all these baby goats, and um, that's going to be the first thing we're going to do just to make sure because I think we have exactly what it is with the baby goats that are needed. Bro, will we have to do it? Why don't we? Okay, because it's, it's a lot of different ones. Yeah, we have 20 of them, so we have exactly what was needed for uh, – what? No, what? Do you, get out of that. We're going to add the 20. Yeah, okay, there we go. All right, so we're going to add all those baby goats, and then we're going to add this go uh, goat, Randy Moss, who's the greatest wide receiver of all time. And don't at me, but if you do want to at me, at me at G Myers World. This card right here, it's so – listen, I don't know if we're going to continue to be able to upgrade them throughout the year, but that would be a good look by EA Sports to either make this be part of another set or whatever because, yeah, you're spending money, but at the same time, yo – you can actually get the players that you want without guessing. It, it kind of makes it a lot easier, but some people overdo it. Like, I've played guys with every single GOAT. I played a guy that had, uh, what, what was that guy's name? Uh, he had 99 King Solomon. Like, bro, the dude, it, it was crazy, this guy's team. So you can spend the money if you want. EA is giving you the options, but they're not forcing you to do it. So don't give me that BS about, oh, yeah, it's, it's pay to play. You can still grind like a lot of other dudes that leave comments that got 85 overall teams, no money spent. You can still do it. It's harder, but you can still do it. So they are giving you options to still do it. But like I said, I could have had this last week if I just bought the pack. 
but I didn't give in, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, EA is doing me sideways, but I'm going to make them do me the way I want to get done. They're not going to keep on doing me however they want to do me. I'm going to do my solos. I'm going to grind it out. I'm going to get it done. So you looking at this right now with 90 speed and all these other stats, there's not a lot of other players that are available uh, as, as cornerbacks unless you run into a guy that's just doing whatever you want. So this has every high overall, like Rod Woodson and stuff like that. This guy is going to be pretty decent for a decent amount of time because I don't think EA Sports, other than John Ross being a 91 speed and that, Ty, that Tyreek Hill football outsider being a 91 speed, I don't see the height and the speed like this with any other card coming soon um, if EA is smart enough about it. Unless it's like a, a crazy legend or something like that, I don't see it happening. So this is what I've been trying to get this whole entire time. Um, he's going to make the, he obviously he comes up to go deep and the playmaker. Um, playmaker by itself is actually a lot better this year. It was pretty broken last year, but the playmaker chemistry um, will give them faster cuts and make them go up, the, you know, go on their routes faster when you want to adjust wherever you want them to go. And I do have a video uh, on on YouTube right here at G Myers World explaining to you how to use playmaker. So now we're gonna go and put him into the lineup. Yeah, I have him as wide receiver too. I should probably start him now though. But then if I start him, it kind of it's going to change up the way that I have a lot of the other things going on with my team if I do start them. But I think I should probably start them, though, um, if we're being realistic about it. Uh, maybe. I'll pro it's possible. It's possible that I'll start him. But let's take a look at what the Go Deep Chem is doing for him. His spectacular catch goes up. His release goes up. That's it. Nothing else. Awareness goes up. That's not helping me. Throw power is not helping me. Pass block's not helping me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know. Uh, play, play, play recognition, spectacular catch. Well, Excuse me. Um, in in regular in competitive mode, which is what I play regularly, that spec catch doesn't really mean anything because if you throw the ball in the coverage, it's going to be a pick every time. So I wouldn't recommend doing that. What I would recommend doing is sending Randy Moss on as many streaks as possible and just not caring about anybody's life. Just continually throwing the ball to him. Don't care. And I'm get, I'm telling you that with love, bro. Just keep doing whatever you want to do with this guy because he's about to go out there and shine. So now you guys know how I got the best wide receiver of all time, Randy Moss, 87 overall, the number one GOAT in the game. Don't at me. But if you do want to at me, you can at me at G Myers World. That's a disclosure. Um, so, yeah, hopefully this helped you to know how I got it all the way through, and you could go ahead and grind it out and get them as well. I'll see you guys and girls next time. It's G Myers World. Share the video. Like the video. Until next time, one love.